Hey everyone, this is I am James from Abridgimation and today I'm going to be teaching you how to lip flap. So, without further ado, let's have a preview at this scene. Ida, this is a cold case of none of your business. <laughs> Alright, so basically we want to lip flap Todoroki's line here. Voice actor is Zillick, by the way, Sack Ross VA, so... Ida, just creating him there. this is a cold case of none of your... So what I want is, I want the whole thing there, so... When you're lip flapping a scene, you want to get free frame screenshotted if you're on Vegas. If you're on Premiere Pro, check out Kaizen Echo's video, he does it better than me for this. So, for this one we want the close flap, so... Whenever you're making an abridged scene, you want to make a folder in the pictures directory, call it abridges, make a subfolder and name it as series you're working on. For this, it's MHA abridged. And then make another subfolder for the episode you're working on. For this, it's episode 6. And make another subfolder for scene. So, scenes, we're just going to call it scene, Todoroki versus stain. And we got the Todoroki close flap here. So, you want to look for free mouth movements. You want to look for the full on closed one, the frame where their mouth is the most open in the dialogue. And the middle part of that, where their mouth's just at the middle of being open and being closed. So for this one, Todoroki 1C. So that's the first flap we're working on here. That's a open, and this one's a middle. You want to find the middle next. So Todoroki 1M, that's for middle. Then Todoroki 1O. Now we got our lip flaps here, we can just easily do this and then end it right when he starts using his power like there there we go also want to make sure your ripple effect is off that way it's not in the way and then basically for the entire dialogue that you want to lift flap you want to make sure you drag or extend the close flap all the way to the end of that and then you just want to repeat the process for the open and middle Make sure you have an extra three layers for the closed, middle, and open. It's it's going to make things way more streamlined and easier. So now we have that, so we just trim it on dialogue. So for each syllable in a word, say so Ida. Ida has two syllables, and he drags on the da for a bit there. Because he's like, he's like just annoyed at Ida, so it's like e e da. 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 And then that ends there. So it's a brief silence there, so for that, for the middle flaps, you want to make sure you have it as a smooth transition between words. So we have that there to bridge the close to the open. E da. Just because there's a... Uh, whenever you have a flap and the open flap is like not far apart, like if it's just this far apart, you cannot get rid of the middle flap there because it's impossible unless you want it to look janky so if that's the case and the open flap is two frames apart instead of three you just leave the middle flaps there but if there is like three frame gap here like here you just want to make sure you trim one frame here so it goes to the closed flap it just looks natural that way it, even if that wouldn't be how the mouth actually moves it just looks nice trust me you'll see at the end of this there we want to trim there, right after there. So yeah, let's have a look at this now. Play from the start. Ida. See, that looks nice. We got Ida, that's two syllables. Ida. Ida. Then this is a cold case of none of your business. This is a cold The this. This. Actually, no, it's just this. This is. Nah, there, there is a bit of thing there, so that's fine. This is is a uh, cold case case of none of your your business so yeah, it's easier to just like trim it as you go along use the s shortcut for splicing the clip so that way you have that pretty much all trimmed there so you basically split go to when the next syllable is Use Alt and the uh, Start Bracket to trim out 
that part, like trim start of that part, so it gets rid of that. And then you have the open flaps pretty much all edited there. Now it's just a matter of getting the middle flaps to match. So that's two frames apart, we cannot split that. Cannot split that either. Cannot split that either. This we can, however. Cold, cold case of none of your business. Case of it's a solid line, I love that. None of your bi none of None of your, your bi bi biz business. And since the flaps in there, that's fine. So now that's how it looks like. Ida, this is a cold case of none of your business. <laughs> and that's how you do lip flaps. If you want to do the advanced stuff like moving frames and all that, I'd recommend checking out Kaizen Echo's video on that. But just repeating the uh, process of the screenshots and the closed middle open flaps and all that, and then you're pretty much going to be fine. You just do that, check out Kaizen Echo's video on the advanced stuff there. I'll link it down in the description. Then pretty much, yeah, you've got lip flaps all all solid and down. If you want me to make a more advanced one where I go through that stage of lip flapping, just hit me up in the comments, uh, give it a like, and if there's enough likes and comments demanding for it, maybe I might make another video on this, who knows. Tutorials aren't my real, real thing. Anyways, hope this video helped you. Uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Peace out. Mm -hmm.